Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining again. Today, let's chat a bit about milkweed. I harvested some pods today and I'm going to serve some milkweed pods to my family at our little family barbecue tonight and see if anybody gets brave and tries some wild food. So milkweed is a perfect candidate for wild food as it's actually a really hard plant to kill. It spreads from by underground rhizomes. So the milkweed plant, the monarchs do need it. They lay their eggs on it, they eat it, they rely on the plant to survive. But a teacher once said, if we don't work with the plants, they will leave us. And maybe I said that wrong. Wait, no, let me go. I honestly, I need to go make sure I read that right. I'm not editing this out. I gotta, I gotta keep this. This is too good of a saying and I, it's a quote in, I quoted it in my, oh, it's on cattail. Gotta go back in my notes. This is too good of a quote to walk away from. Okay, yeah, if you don't work with the plants, they will leave you. And I, that was said to me on a plant walk with Laura Gilmore, Wild Muskoka Botanicals, when she was talking about cattail. And I think that it also applies to milkweed. Um, I've heard people who will have like a milkweed patch and then it just disappears and then you've got to wonder, well, maybe the plant wanted to be worked with. Maybe it wanted to know that it was wanted there. Um, maybe I sound crazy. <laughs> but yeah, milkweed is an incredible wild food. It's edible from spring to midsummer. We're going into the, like the end of August and we're able to eat the milkweed pods. The milkweed pods are the last edible part of the plant. So you can eat the young shoots, you can eat the flowers, you can eat the pods. Um, I've infused the flowers in vinegar. You can go check out my uh, blog post. I tell you how to do that. And I'm probably forgetting and not saying something and that's okay. I'm just here to give you a little bit of a lowdown. I encourage you to keep researching milkweed. So. I'm making milkweed pods for supper as a little side dish and I'm gonna tell you how to do that. When you're going to harvest your milkweed pods, you're looking for ones that are no larger than your thumb. And it's a sticky job. <laughs> you're gonna see that milky substance coming out of there and that's real sticky. So because of that milky substance, I've been taught to boil my milkweed pods in a change of water before consuming and that is to ensure that I don't get a tummy ache or get feeling sick after. On the other hand, a lot of my research and a lot of people I know do not do that. They just make sure they cook them really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this pot up with water and then I'm going to boil it and then after I boil them, I'm going to saute them with some garlic and onions and salt and maybe some pepper and butter, olive oil, I haven't decided yet. And that second cook is ensuring that they're cooked really well. You don't have to do that. You could just saute them really well. Choose your own adventure, whatever you feel safe and comfortable with. I used to feel not good about not boiling them first, so I did it. I think today I'm just going to give them one good, re really good fry. I'm not recommending you don't do that and I'm not recommending that you do do that. I'm telling you to do what feels right to you and what feels safe. This is a resource, me telling you. Now you can go on Google or whatever search engine you use and look up how other foragers are preparing their milkweed pods. Maybe you can ask someone local how they do it. There's different ways for you to figure this out and to make sure that you're preparing wild food safely. Okay, so I'm gonna go cook these up and I'll show you what they look like as I'm cooking or maybe after whatever it ends up doing. I'm new to all this filming stuff. So I lied to you. <laughs> I'm boiling them first. Just for a quick little second, it makes me feel better so Whatever you feel best, do it. What I need to mention, be smart about how much you consume with wild foods, especially if you're not used to them. With milkweed pods, I have heard of people consuming overindulging and then they feel sick after. What I do is handful portions. Milkweed pods equal handful portions. With almost any wild food, handful portions. They're really condensed nutrients. There's so much wonderful stuff in there that our bodies aren't even used to processing if you're new to wild foods. 
So slow and steady wins the race with wild foods. The milkweed pods are cooked. They're very yummy. I sauteed them up with some butter, like I said, salt, pepper, and some garlic. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Told you, this is totally a blooper video. They kind of have like an asparagus taste. I love them. Okay. If you have milkweed growing around you, head on out, grab some thumb sized buds, and cook them up. Serve their family some milky pods for dinner and blow their minds. This milky substance, let's see if you can. Hmm. Sorry. There's a milky substance. Wow. We're just doing all the bloopers today. There we go. I really want you to see this. <laughs> this is the normal in Curve Lake right now. Anyways, the Botanicals, and I'm here to teach you how to make lilac syrup. It's super simple. So notice how flat this is. It's flat like a pancake. 